All right, I uh, started doing a review of the uh, Chavant Clays last week, and then my external hard drive dr crashed on me and took all the videos that I shot uh, and uh, left them on the uh, unrecoverable external hard drive. So I'm going to redo the, uh, the clay review. You, you'll see that some of these clays have already been reviewed and in fact all the clays have been reviewed. And I've got uh, uh, where I've tried the clay when it was cold and tried it when it was hot and uh, I gave it a score but I'm going to redo it right now and then I'll put it underneath this light set the light down at a certain level and uh, reheat them for a, a set period of time uh, which will be probably about 10 minutes. Tried these cold like they are now and this Labo Touche is really nicely soft even without heating it up and this plastiline professional plastiline um, same thing uh, just different color this is a little lighter red a little darker red I'm not going to even bother doing the light test on these and uh, I just I just love this clay this uh, Siobhan it's, it's what I originally started to uh, uh, sculpt with back in the uh, 60s was the red clay so I'm going to put that one aside and uh, I'm going to try this one first. This is the uh, Chavant uh, Hard and uh, it's, it's pliable while it's hard so I would give that maybe a two or three as far as uh, softness before you soften it and then this is uh, that's the uh, clayette uh, hard and this is the clayette soft and this stuff is really nicely soft even before it's under the lamp but I'm going to go ahead and put it under the lamp and uh, set it for about 10 minutes and see how it works out all right 10 minutes later the uh, clayette hard a lot softer that might be a good one for uh, in fact, if it was under the light a little bit longer, I bet that would be uh, perfect. I like that. And I like the color. I like the uh, white. I, I like the red as well, but white shows deeper tones of shadowing. And when you're a shadow pusher like myself, uh, you want to have all the shadows possible. It's like drawing with a pencil. You want... Uh, all the shadowing you can get and white uh, would certainly transfer that. I I like both these clays right now. This one I would say was I, I graded it as a, a little th a three. That's the clayette hard and this is the clayette soft and it really is soft. That's a five on that one and I would say closer to a four uh, out of a five for the uh, clay at hard. I like that. I'm gonna put that one aside. I think that's the one I may be ordering. I don't know. I think the soft is nice, but uh, I would rather have that for the soft of the clay at uh, would be nice, but be better for a larger clay that I would be doing, like the monumental. All right, this is a clay at medium. And uh, the NSP uh, soft, non-sulfur uh, plastiline soft. I think that's what that stands for. Maybe I shouldn't interject that. Okay, I'm going to try out these two clays. This is the NSP soft. And this is the clay at hard, or medium. And... Uh, it's been... When I tried this before... It was very cold in this uh, house. Right now, it's 80 plus outside, and so it's a little warmer in the house, and uh, 
because of that the clay is a little softer so this clay at medium is uh, and that's Fahrenheit by the way that's not uh, Celsius <laughs> okay uh, hard soft cold okay and uh, hard soft cold now that's not bad just without a light let's put it under light for 10 minutes see what happens and come back all right 10 minutes later uh, the clayette medium and the NSP soft clayette medium wow that's nice I, I would give that a five after uh, out of five after it's been under the lamp and I had the lamp about two inches above the clay the swing arm lamp the uh, NSP soft is a nice clay I haven't run into a bad clay yet this I give this a five out of five and uh, the N NSP soft and the uh, clay at medium both of them get five out of five all right that's going to be set aside as clays possibly will order now I got a couple of uh, let's see auto style medium and auto style soft and let's see hard they are hard this one is soft but it's not and uh, that's medium now let's put it under the lamp for 10 minutes see what happens I'm gonna lower the lamp by the way so that uh, it's a little closer to the clay because that's the hardest clay I've run into <coughs> full disclosure this is under the light a lot longer than 10 minutes and uh, ooh, wow hmm this is under the light probably about 15 minutes because I was on the phone and couldn't get away to uh, check it out anyway this uh, auto styling uh, medium it's not bad once it's heated up and I remember last time I tried this I tried it uh, under the light for 10 minutes and it didn't soften it up very much so I think it's probably a good thing I did this the Chavant auto styling soft gets really nice uh, and uh, it's extremely hard when it's cold so if you're doing something that uh, uh, you, you want detail to stay in I think either one of these would be good okay we're gonna move on to a different clay I was sent these samples uh, monument medium hard and monument soft I'm gonna start with soft I'd say this is about a three out of five in hardness. Saw, I mean cold. Uh, let's put it under the lamp for ten minutes. See what happens. I'm going to put the uh, lamp about a inch and a half above uh, the clay, which is uh, a half inch further than I had been doing on the other ones. The monument soft. Oh yeah, that's. That works out nicely under the light. I would give it a, a, a four and a half out of five for softness under the light. Uh, inch and a quarter above it uh, for ten minutes. Monument soft. I, I'm telling you, I, I haven't really come across one of these clays from Chavant that's really bad. It's they're all great clays. They have all great touch to them. Very little smell. Actually, no smell. All right, let's go with medium. This next one, Monument uh, Medium. Um, I don't mind the gray color. It's, uh, it, it's a good color. Um, you can see shadows. Uh, unlike wax where you can't really see much of anything uh, all these clays uh, are good 
All right, this is the Monumelt Medium. After 10 minutes. Oh, this is great. This is really nice. Okay. He gets a 5 out of 5 uh, on my uh, softness under the light. Now, this is a Monumelt. And this is the last clay I'm going to be reviewing today. It's Monumelt Hard. And I'm going to put it under the light uh, for 15 minutes, let's say. All right, it's been uh, 15 minutes under the light. It's uh, it's good. And I'm imagining even a half hour under a light, uh, this clay would be very good. So, um, a recommendation is get any of the clays. They all work fine and just depends on the uh, type of uh, product you're trying to sculpt. My final words on it is I think I'm going to get the uh, the hard clayette. I like that uh, white or cream colored clay. Um, I, I guess when it comes right down to it, Chavant, who's been in the business of making clay since the 1890s, is uh, one of the top, the top uh, clay manufacturers for professional artists uh, in, in the world. And I know they've got uh, distributors all over the world. You just go to their website and you can Google it to find it. I'll put a link uh, to their test their uh, website down below but uh, I don't think you can get much better look at all the samples I, I mean I went through 15 different clays today and all of them are dynamite uh, for the use that you want and the color you want of the clay and uh, so I'm going to tie this up and say goodnight and hope you uh, have a great evening. Bye-bye.